This is a Rosemary Salmano production from the Wardo TV family. How's it going, my people? This is your boy Wired Up, and welcome to another episode of Wired Up TV. Hope you guys got your hands on the steering wheel and keeping your eyes on the road. Handling everything you guys got to handle, no matter what it is. Take care of it, my people, with a positive mind and your head up because life is what you make it and your perception is your reality. With that being said, let's get down to the video, my people. Now, one thing I want to get right to, and it is a picture that the great Rosemary Sermeno found for me well for us okay and it's the big picture on the left right here now this picture right here is tupac leaving suge's house where they got dressed now he's wearing the green shirt that you know the green uh, basketball shirt that he was wearing in that final picture that was taken to him in the car right so this this picture right there right green vest i know you guys know what i'm talking about was a you know is is what he's wearing okay and you can see right under in this rare picture and they're already inside the bmw they're driving through vegas okay you can see it clearly right here okay right under in this rare picture you can see the bulletproof vest it's a white bulletproof vest you can see it. he was not wearing no muscle sh uh no muscle shirt under it no wife beater there's plenty of pictures of him showing him with that jersey on and none of them you cannot see any white he he wasn't wearing a wife beater okay see here's a picture that i'm talking about you can't see no wife beater under it's just the jersey that's all he's wearing okay that's it it's a good look okay that is all mr tupac is wearing but in this rare picture on the left you can see under it some white and thick and you know what it doesn't even look like a wife beater because you can see it real tight on the shoulder part all right he's wearing a bulletproof vest guys a white one and in these two pictures on the right there's an interview which is on two uh which is on tupac which is on youtube it's an interview with him and luke he shows off his white bulletproof vest okay taunting i believe it was biggie or the people on the east coast that shot him okay so we know and this was Right after he got out of jail, he had his death row emblem on and all that stuff. So it was a couple of months before he was allegedly shot, okay, on September 7th, 1996. So we knew and we know he has a white bulletproof vest, okay? That's what he's wearing, guys, all right? That's what he's wearing. Now, this is more proof that we're finding now that maybe Tupac was the one shot at in the car. It was not a double, it was not Devin Clark, okay? This is more proof of that. Remember, a lot of people think there was a double in the car, this happened and that happened, okay? We're not 100%, a million percent sure, but we're doing research, this is, this is the point. We're showing you guys our research that we're doing, right? Just because we show you guys something doesn't mean, oh, look, we're just showing you guys this and that's the end of it, okay? A lot of people have commented and, and said, well, wired up. Uh, this person showed this uh, a long time ago. And what about it? Did they figure it out? What did they do? They just showed you guys and then that was it. No, we're showing you guys what we're doing in the process of doing. But after today, I still do research. Rosemary said, man, still does research. Joe Gracia still does research, okay? I call people. We're trying to figure this out, guys, for y'all that don't know, okay? Just because somebody shows it to you, so what? But what are they doing about it? Nothing. Nothing, guys. We are. We're figuring out what's going on. And as you can see, white bulletproof vest on the picture on the left, September 7, 96, seconds before, uh, well, hours, I guess, because this is right when he had put that jersey on, all right? He had a vest on, guys. Don't take my word for it. You heard, um, what's his name? Snap of the fingers, snap of the fingers. What's his name? Daz's girl, his baby's mama at the time that was there said he was wearing a bulletproof vest. Guys, he was wearing his bulletproof vest that night. Okay. Now, with this more, you know, with more proof, with this proof here. I'm leaning more to the side of Tupac being in that car himself. Okay? I'm starting to think 
that Pac was in that car when they shot at him. But he knew and made preparations for that. You have to remember these people, and I believe it was the feds, right? I believe it was government agents, cops, you know, not necessarily cops, you know what I'm saying, but three letter boys that try to rub them out. And these guys are not dumb, okay? They're kind of dumb, but not too dumb, all right? Tupac knew that they were gonna look in that car before they shot, that they were gonna be following him in that car before they shot. And if the police saw any mismatch of the face or got any clues that that was not Pac in that car, they wouldn't have shot, the plan wouldn't have gone right, and they would have attacked some other day and Pac would not have known when. The reason Pac chose this precise moment because somebody sent him a letter telling him when, where, and why this was gonna happen. So Pac only had one chance to do it. And he knew by putting a double in there and the feds finding out that wasn't Pac would have ruined the whole thing. And he would not have known when they were coming again and probably would have ended up really dead. But Pac was smart. So he put himself in that car, but he prepared, right? He protected the door. He put a bulletproof vest on and he knew exactly when they were gonna come, okay? That's why in that supposed last picture of him, he looks like nervous, like ready to go. You know, he looks nervous, check it out. Look at his face. He looks nervous, look at his eyes. He looks like, dude, hurry up, take the picture. I got some stuff to do, something's about to go down. Okay? It's just the way it was, guys. Now, I'm leaning more towards Pac knew what was gonna crack. Now, like I'm telling you guys, we're not 100% sure. We're still doing research. We're still making phone calls. We're still doing what we got to do. But we're presenting to you guys our work as, as, we're, as we're researching. Do you get me? But just because I make another video tomorrow about something else doesn't mean I'm done with this. We still stay researching these stuff. And we bring you up and keep you updated on what's going on, guys. All right? Now, moving on. Check this out right here. The U-Haul truck right in front of the hospital on the left, right? That's how it would have looked the day of the hospital, okay? The day when Pac was allegedly in that hospital. The day when he switched with Devin Clark. You have to remember, Danny Boy said it himself that Suge Knight told him to park the U-Haul truck on the side door entrance as you can see on the top right screen on those two pictures okay you can see the little door very simple there's there's trees in the way cars in the way a big u-haul truck right there on that little door you have to remember what frank alexander said okay you have to remember what he said he said when he heard he passed away seconds later or whatever they rolled them out and the doctor or I believe he said the coroner I'm not quite sure they were already waiting for him <clears throat> excuse me they were already sitting there standing there I mean waiting for him to come out guys this was something planned okay was Suge Knight involved was he involved I don't know what do you guys think? I allegedly thought Suge Knight knew nothing about it. But Danny Boy stated that Suge Knight or somebody told him to put the U-Haul truck and park it in front of the door. I don't know 100% of it was Suge Knight. But that's what Danny Boy's saying. He said it was Suge Knight that told him to park that U-Haul in front of the door. Okay? In front of the door. Could Suge Knight have known what Pac was doing? What do you guys think? 
the research right now with this coming out is showing that maybe Suge knew what was going on. Okay? Maybe he did. But what we do know is that Danny Boy has said this on multiple occasions. That there was a lot of funny business going on. Even Frank Alexander said this. There was no funeral for Pac or nothing, guys. Nothing. This man being so flamboyant, so loud, so in your face in his life. When he passes, there's nothing. When he allegedly passes, there's nothing. <clears throat> okay? Different uh, stories from from multiple different people. Some, some people said they saw him in the back of the car. Some people said that they, they took him out of the... Oh, just, just so many stories. You know, when somebody lies to you, the story always changes, right? You know, when little kids try to make up stuff, their story always changes. A lie always changes. All these people keep changing their stories, guys, because it was a lie. This lady, right? The Channel Zero News lady that says a helicopter picked up Pac. Picked them up. How do you get confused from an ambulance to a helicopter? And she had a freaking camera in her hand, guys, recording stuff. And nobody asked her. The police don't say, hey, let me see that camera. The videos never come on nothing. <laughs> come on, guys. This is not brain surgery or rocket science. This lady had a camera in her in her freaking hands talking to a TV stay right in front of the crime scene. But nobody asked, hey, did you catch what happened here? Come on, guys. The police saw that video. They knew Tupac was alive. The cops know Tupac survived, guys. What's in that video? What was in that video? What did they catch? What happened, guys? Did the police see it? Maybe they never saw it. But I know that the police found out that Pac pulled the wool over their eyes and mission did not get completed. And they will never admit that because, if, like I always tell you guys, if they admit that, they let out more skeletons out of the closet that they cannot afford to let out. I want to know what you guys think about this. We're still doing research on this. It's still not 100% completed. Right now, it's a lot of guessing game. We still have phone calls to make stuff, people to talk to, okay? But we will keep you posted, guys. But I want to know what you guys know. If you have any information, send it to wiredubtv for you at gmail.com. Wiredubtv for you at gmail.com. Stay yourselves. Be original. And like always, guys, stay wired up. Talk to you guys soon. Peace out.